Great. Welcome. Hi, my name is Lisa, and uh, you're you're actually joining us here on one of the first episodes of Anteros. Anteros is a company that actually is focused in on developing new agricultural techniques, if not really new, maybe going back to the old ways where things were done without the use of chemicals or things that harm our earth. Um, so we're excited today to start talking about some of the concepts that will be implemented on a piece of land down in the south of Italy in the region called Puglia, um, where we have 11, hectare, 11 hectares of land, and we're going to be growing and experimenting and doing all different types of uh, experiments to improve agricultural techniques. But today we're going to focus in on something that is to help the property that is on the land to improve the health and wellness of people. So we're really excited today to meet with Yannick Bendorm, who is an expert in electroculture. Um, and um, through conversations with Yannick, he's introduced me to a new concept, a concept that how you can use electroculture techniques to improve the energy of your home by connecting to the Earth's magnetic resonance for well-being. So we're excited to do it. Yannick can be found on his channel on YouTube. And we'll put a link below to his channel. But I'd like to say welcome, Yannick, to this conversation and to this channel. How are you tonight? Good. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, thank you, Lisa. And um, I hope it will be uh, very um, uh, interesting for everybody <laughs> what I have to share. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. We're very, we're very excited. And I think we have, uh, what we have here is a, a couple different uh, screens and Yannick is going to be sharing with you um, maybe some of the concepts through, uh, through a whiteboard, which is great. So Yannick, today, what I'd like to start out with was just asking you a little bit about what is this concept of connecting to Earth's magnetic resonance? Um, what does that mean to you? And what are the benefits for humans by doing this? Um, it's all, all living organism on earth live in an, in the earth magnetic field. And, um, it was discovered and there are some uh, science articles also about that, that when locally the earth magnetic field is improved, increased or a little bit amplified that it will be very beneficial for all living organisms. And so also for us. Um, I work a lot with that for plant growth in agriculture and for the gardens, uh, but it's also interesting. Uh, in, in, it's also interest, uh, interesting to do in a home, in a house, and also even in our sleeping room. When we increase the earth magnetic energies, then uh you when we go to sleep, we, we will we will recover more quickly and mm. maybe need also less sleep. Uh, an example, uh, uh, Justin Christophe Lowe is a pioneer in that field in the beginning of the 20th uh, century. He lived around uh, uh, 1918 um, uh, to, uh, he worked on the field of electroculture around 1918 to 1938. And he also advised, advised to put a, a kind of wires and kind of systems uh, under the bed or even under the house uh, to increase uh, the magnetic field locally. And he, he slept only like three or four hours in the night and he was, in, in, he was very healthy. He, he stood very healthy, very long time. Um, and he worked a lot. And um, uh, so he, he has also the proof that it works very well. On plant That's growth, you see that also when we do this in gardens, uh, sometimes we have double growth of plants. Uh, uh, and now in houses, it's also very interesting to do. And, and for sure, when you begin to build a house, when you do it from start, 
done uh, it's a lot better than when you do it when the house is already built it's a little bit more difficult to to install but it's also possible it's also possible. That's that's a good that's a good point. So uh, Gustav Flo, it sounds like he's a he's an expert in electroculture. And if we could do, I'll try to get a link from you about um, his books and his work because it it's really important to do that. When you and I met, yes, there, there is a book uh, here. I have the book that does the French one, but it was also translated in English of Justin Christophe Flo that you found uh, you find on Amazon and also on my internet site. Uh, Terrific. Yes, so I that's have one, that one book already. <laughs> of, him of 1925. Uh, it's very interesting. Mm. Terrific. That's good. So when you and I had a chance to meet in person, um, you showed me what it felt like within your garden. You had um, these electrical wires, this this way to in increase the connectivity with the mag Earth's magnetic resonance in there. And you asked me to do a simple test about my muscle strength. And in one place that without it, um, you were very easy, easy to take my arm and put it down. When I was in the place where you had this system set up, my muscle strength was significantly different um, from that. And I thought that was so interesting. And I thought it would be a very important thing to put into the house on there. Is there, um, do, so you were saying that Gustav Flo put this into his homes and he recommended this when he was discussing about um, electroculture. So I think that's a very interesting, an interesting type of thing. So we could actually, hopefully people will get a little excited about this idea and think about it as they're building homes. The home that um, I'm doing right now is an existing home, but it's really mostly the framework of a home and we've torn out all the flooring and we're putting in new flooring so we're going to be implementing it. And I thought today what we'd want to do is to actually go forward and talk not just about the theory of it. So the theory is, is that it's an extension of electrocultural techniques that benefit any living organism to support their health and wellness. It's documented from the plant sector where you are improving growth. We see that that the same type of benefits for humans and any other in any living uh, living creatures and animals. Um, so what we want to talk about here is how do we implement it specifically into a home? We're at the stage where the flooring is already up in this home in particular. And we want to talk about, first of all, what are the materials that are needed in order to do this? And is it an expensive process to implement this, Yannick? Oh, no, it's, it's not expensive at all. It's... Um... It, it, it's just more about knowledge, um, how to do it. And then you can use uh, really not expensive materials. Uh, now, uh, I explain how to do it with not expensive material, but you can also buy some materials uh, that are completely ready, ready made and ready for use uh, on my internet site too. Um, so how 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 uh, to do or which materials? The first material is just uh, galvanized steel wire. So it's very easy. You can find every everywhere in the world almost. It's not so really expensive. It's the same wire that is used for fences in agriculture. Uh, to to so it's uh, it's it's very classic uh, galvanized steel wire. You can. You can use the steel wire of of one one point five uh, square millimeter, or two, or three, or two point five square millimeter. Uh, it can be fine or more thick. It it's it will work. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then and then I use also a magnet that I um, that I coated with beeswax to improve the certain uh, energy properties uh, but you can if you don't have beeswax you can also use uh, um, uh, no no beeswax and only the magnets but i improved it with uh, beeswax and with some other uh, uh, little uh, things um i don't i don't tell everything but <laughs> <I'm not laughs> all my little secrets but um if if you want 
already the basic techniques you can already use and you will already have a lot of effect with just a magnet and a galvanized steel wire but sure, okay. uh, I, I improved a lot of those techniques and so i put beeswax i put also a lakovsky coil inside and uh and the magnets and um and so uh, uh and then this this is like a cylinder magnet and this magnet together with the galvanized steel wire that will be put in the floor of the house uh, uh, under the floor or in the floor in the concrete or below the 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 the, the boards or or below the uh below the ceramic uh, floor or, or or whatever um this will create like a magnetic antenna with the earth magnetic field hmm. mm -hmm. and and to make that process happening uh the wire and the magnet needs to be really oriented very well north south with the earth magnetic field if you so let's let's yeah north. let's let's stop there let's just go let, i want to take it a step at a time so you're saying all you need is a combination of wire um galvanized steel wire and it can be 1.5 square millimeters to 2.5 square millimeters in thickness yes. then you use magnets now the magnets that you have are cylinder type magnets and you've yes. coated these magnets with a beeswax and some other elements and it's a rounded coil beeswax is interesting because the what bees are doing have so many medicinal and health properties so it's it's intriguing we'll have to understand that so you do that and you put it underneath your flooring is there a an um is there types of floorings that it works best under or it's equal under any material type of floor yes i will explain some some more details uh how to do it concretely um but to to come again to the why the beeswax uh the the beeswax will um will bring will bring uh an effect of of cosmic energies now uh, the bees are connected with the cosmos and and yeah. the, the cosmic waves and and the and the energy from the sun it's yellow too and the and the magnet it's more earth energies it's really the magnetic field of the earth it's really uh earth energies and the two are are in uh in balance or in um in uh, or also complementary and we need the two energies and um and so when and also in beeswax you have a lot of medicinal properties and you have a lot of uh, you have thousands and thousands of different molecules that corresponds with um, with all essential oils corresponding with all the flowers the bees has have visited so it's very rich in different natural molecules and each molecule will be like excited through the magnetic field and will uh, radiate or like like in resonance it will radiate their proper energies or their proper frequencies that are very beneficial and so we we will we will benefit from the earth magnetic field and its frequencies like the schumann resonance frequencies mm. and we will also benefit from the cosmic energies from the beeswax so that that's why i put uh, beeswax that makes so much sense. Thank you. I, I, it sounded very interesting when you said beeswax in particular. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you very much. Great. So those are the materials. And I love well, two things that I think that are really fantastic about this idea is that you are using materials that are not very expensive. And it's very simple way of improving your health and wellness without interfering with anything. One last question: Does it does it do anything to protect against electromagnetic frequencies or any negative frequencies that come into that we're subjected to in life? Yes, yes. Um, it's uh, an indirect protection in a certain way. It's like the earth magnetic field is very important also to protect against the 
uh, the magnetic waves from the sun. If, if mm -hmm. it, it creates like a shield. And here you will have like a, a dome or a shield effect uh, on the house uh against the 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 the, the electromagnetic pollution mm, uh, but that. the the electromagnetic waves will still uh, come to us like the earth magnetic field of the sun still or the energy still come to us but not too much it's uh it's in balance in a certain way and uh, and with uh, electromagnetic pollution also it's like uh, it it will give a kind of protection, but our phones and everything will still work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> it's like the very expensive protection I have against electromagnetic frequency, except it's for a reasonable price and it actually is very natural. I love that. I love that combination. And, and um, what 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 it will do? It will increase our energy, our life energy. And so when when we will have a lot more energy, we are naturally more protected against outside stresses. That, 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 that's why when we did the test, the the the, the muscle testing mm -hmm. um, on a on a zone on area with the antennas and without, you feel directly the difference because your your energy is more balanced, is more centered. And yes. then you are you are less influenced by outside the stresses and also the electromagnetic pollution. Right, I, so I felt it's that. very very good. Yes. Uh, and it's a lot good. of people, a, a lot of people that are electrosensitive, when they do that, the, it increased a lot their life, uh, the, their life quality, their sleeping, everything, uh, because uh, they they they. They become again connected with the earth magnetic uh, frequencies because the, the problem of that pollution of of that electromagnetic pollution is that is it 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 will disconnect us from the earth magnetic frequencies mm. because the the earth magnetic frequencies are very low intensity and our electromagnetic pollution is uh, quite high intensity. high intensity. It's like that hundred times sense. higher. And so that, it will disturb our 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 natural antennas in a certain way. That's fantastic. That's that makes so much sense. It was very clear when, when I felt that. I love that. So th that's that's the theory of it, and those are the basic materials. So right now we talked about this. This video is actually going to be telling us specifically how to implement it using the example of the house that I have right now as a proxy to do this. So if we could now go into this section of the practical side of it, where we're saying, how do we actually install this? Um, so I spoke with my architect and um, engineering teams, and they have some specific questions. They want to know the positioning specific positioning of these of these actual galvanized steel wires and the magnets um how you how you do this and um and then the distance between them and how you where the magnets go and any other specific information on how we do that. So can I start you off by saying how do you orient them or, or if you could take a room as an example and say, this is how you like draw a room and say, this is how we implement this grant, this process. So I will show you on the board if it's okay. So Terrific, be, be great. <laughs> Thank you, I love the whiteboard. <laughs> so you see me? I do, I'm gonna take my video off so I can they can focus on you. So I will show you so if, if if we have a house are we just a house simple house <laughs> <laughs> pretty house <laughs> so if, if we have the floor we will if the north is here north south then then we will put the the wires like this in the floor huh? um, it's it's a very s simple uh, 
uh, drawing. Yeah, but and we will put the magnetic antennas here. Like so this. you're look you're orienting the actual wires themselves north yes. to south. Is it a direct north to south? A hundred percent, or can you deviate slightly north to south, like not quite north, not quite south? No, it's it's very important to put really um, very precise north south maximum five percent of deviation, but it's better even only one or two percent uh, or one or two degree. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really the best. The, the more it is precise, the better it will work. So okay. we, we will put the wires really north south. Huh? So if we have a wire, so we, we, we put it really in the concrete floor or, be, or below. Um, when you make a hole to make your, your, your concrete floor of the house or foundations, uh, you can put the wires below it. Uh, north south, the wires can be like uh, 5, 10, 20 meters. So the, the wall, the wall width of the house or length of the house, north south, always north south. Even if the house is not oriented well north south, it's not a problem. The, the, what is important is to put the wire exactly north south. So okay, we, so wire north south should when you put it into a room, should the actual um, wire itself be the length of the actual room, or can you connect them with magnets in the middle, or do the magnets have to be on each end of the room? Uh, the best is to it's to put one magnet on each wire. That's the most easy way to do. Okay. Um, but you can also put only one magnet and connect the wires together. But then you have a certain way to do it. I will show you. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, sometimes you can't have the wire the exact yes. length. Then, if, if the floor is here, then you can, if here is the south, then you put at the extreme south the wire with the magnet and, and you connect like this, the wire, like this, for example. But the, the, the energy will always go from the south to the north, always. Right. Even in the southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere of planet Earth, it will always come from the south to the north, at the south of a compass to the north. Okay, okay. And so um, you, you can connect the wire and go through the, the magnet like this, or you can connect them like, um, how to say, like you put the wires around like this, around the other wire. Okay. You, you, you can connect them like uh, you would say like this, and then like this, and, and go around like this, for example. Mm -hmm. And what's the out. maximum length that, um, so if you, you're putting the magnet on the south, um, what's the maximum length that you say is good for in order to work well for the other for the length of the wire? Oh, the, the length you can even you make a big building uh, for industry of hundred meters, and you can put one wire with ma one magnet. It will work. Um, uh, mm -hmm. the, the energy will not be disrupted by the length. It's not a problem. The length. It's really. Uh, the orientation that is important, and with one antenna you can go hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of meters. It's not a problem. Um, mm -hmm. But I would advise not to do like this because if if yes. you don't connect it very well, it will not work, and then it will be a part that will not work. So the most easy it's to, or otherwise you can, what you can do too. To, to, to limit the risk, it's to put like wires for for each doesn't work well. For each three wires, you can put a magnet, for example. Mm -hmm. but you can do also like this. Oh. I think you need a new pen. <laughs> no, it works, but it's uh, okay. But if we, I, the, like <laughs> right, ideal would be a magnet for each wire. Can you just draw how that looks? 
because I think that's the, the 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 most the safest approach is to have one magnet per wire. Yes, yes. Okay. On the south and it's not side. expensive when you when you do the work. You ask to to uh, build uh, to people that work uh, in building to make the concrete. It will uh, cost like uh, I don't know two, three thousand, five thousand euros or more. Um, those antennas it will cost maybe. I don't know, or maybe 100, 200 euros. So it's exactly, not exactly, exactly really not expensive, and it will, and it will change your whole life, the energy of the whole house for for lifetime. So it's really not expensive. And, right. But what you can do too, when you have the concrete, you can also put the wires that go through outside, like this. Okay. And then put the magnets here where you can reach them. So you can also put them away or put or let them on it uh, that, that you can reach them, that it comes out of the concrete or below that you can make a hole and you put just the earth on it. And uh, in the house, you have the wire in the concrete, uh, but outside you can connect with the magnet. Why uh, can this be interesting? Because sometimes some people are very sensitive and sometimes it's like uh, too much energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, and then, um, uh, then you can disconnect and you, uh, you will always have the magnetic effect because the wire will will become right. like a, a, a giant magnet, the wall wire. Right. Uh, but uh, when you will put this with the antenna with it, it will be also increased, you see? Uh, right. The magnetic antenna is also to, to polarize or to, um, to give the direction of the magnetic field in the wire, because okay. sometimes the wire, can be magnetized in other ways if you bury it somewhere because uh, uh, it, it has uh, for, for for different reasons the the magnetic um, orientation in the wire can be uh, it work it's iron so if if it if it touches a magnet or magnetic field it will be oriented in a certain way and so when you will connect to the magnetic uh, to to the magnet to the magnetic antenna, it will orient the magnetic field of the wire all in the same direction. And that is very important. Mm -hmm. um, but as soon as you as uh, uh, as soon you have done this, it will it will create an energy that will stay there. And even if you then take away the magnet, the energy will stay there. It, it still will, goes there. It, it, okay. it will stay magnetic. Terrific. All right. So Yannick, let's stop there. Let's uh, have two questions to do for this. So we're clear it's a south to north orientation with the magnet on the southern side. Yes. So two questions and we'll, um, I'll, I'll say the two questions and we'll start with the first one. First, do you put it in the ground underneath all the layers of flooring or do you put it within the cement succeed? That's the uh, first question. Put... Yeah, that's the first question. And... You can put in the ground below below uh, the concrete below all the layers of flooring, or you can put in the layers of flooring. Uh, you you do like you you can like you like uh, when you are building the house, you can put it below or in the concrete of the foundation mm -hmm. of the first layer of the flooring. And is there a preferred or is there a best practice on this, or is it just as as it's easier to do? I would put it in the concrete at the best. It's to put it in the concrete of the flooring because in the concrete you have already uh, uh, like a fence of iron rebar, um, and this uh, this then it will be connected with that uh, fence uh, with the um, uh, material, the material itself. Just the, with that, mat with that yeah. iron material that sure. will also magnetize. Uh, in the in the good direction, and that's important because if that iron material is not in the good direction and not magnetized in the good direction, 
then it creates a disturbance in the house. Mm. It creates, uh, so uh, it's, it's good when they do the concrete uh, floor directly to connect the wires to so put the iron um, that is inside the concrete. And so when they, they, uh, they put the liquid concrete on it, uh, it will be all inside. It will okay. be all inside. So it's and essentially it, before you put the first layer of concrete down. Yes, it's best. Yes. Okay, yes. got it. That's really an important point. Um, yes, if if you want really the make the best of it, then you put it really in the concrete and and connect it also with the iron in the concrete. Yes. Terrific. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, and then you have these wires going across. What's the ideal space between the wires to lay that out? Oh, yes, that's also important. Uh, you can put between the wires, you can put one to one to one uh, point fifty me uh, meter, well, one to one meter fifty in between. In the field, in the garden, I or in, um, in agriculture, I put a wire every one meter fifty. In mm -hmm. the house, you can do this too, or or one meter. The 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 more you will put, the better it can be. But already each one meter, I would advise one meter. It's good. It's very good. so. The one meter would be like a best practice to do that. Okay. Yes, that so I would advise this. Yeah. My intuition say this. Um, now one to fifty is also good. That then it will be less energy in between. Uh, uh, so uh, one meter is very good. Is very very. Okay. Good. So one meter is very good. So let's go back though to the installation again. So <clears throat> let's let's try. I want to make sure that everybody understands that as well as me as my my team when we're in, installing this material. So <clears throat> you have the floor right now. There's before you put the first layer of concrete, that's where you want to put the wires? Or do you want to put it in this between that first layer and the second layer of concrete? Um, normally you put a on layer of concrete, of concrete. I think. Yeah. Okay. So, so you it's put in that layer in the first one. So you when you when you actually lay the concrete, you then put the wires in when the concrete is wet. Is that how you do it? It's, it's, it's before you put the concrete. You, when they put the concrete, they, they prepare the floor. They put iron to, uh, to make the concrete strong, to make the concrete hold together. And then you put the wires on that iron. Uh, and, then, uh, and then they will come to... Um, to uh, to put the liquid concrete on it that will mix the, uh, with the iron, and uh, and um, and the concrete will harden itself, and everything will be inside. Terrific. Yeah. Okay, got it. If but you if, could... go ahead. Uh, if the concrete is already done, and you want to put a wooden floor above it or something, then you can still have some place and put the wires on the concrete on top of it between the wooden floor and the concrete, for example. Yeah, okay. You can do also. But if you put like a ceramic, um, how to say that, uh, uh, carrelage. Uh, uh, tiles? Uh, yes, uh, tiles then on the concrete, then maybe you don't have enough space between the tiles and the concrete. It depends. If you put a second layer on it, you can you can put the wires also on it. But in a home where uh, the floor is already uh, there, you can put, for example, and you make a new um, a, a ceiling, you can put the wires in the ceiling, for example. Oh, that's interesting. Let's talk about that. So instead of putting it on the floor, you could do it on the ceiling. Okay. Yes. Yes. For example, I will show. So here, if we have a ceiling, uh, uh, of the house, and uh, and this and this second floor, mm -hmm. second floor. Huh? 
Oh, okay, okay. Um, I don't know if we see it very good. Yeah, here, that works. So that the works. second floor. Mm -hmm. Here is the first floor. Here the second. You you can put here, for example, in the ceiling, in the in the or or from from under. You can put it or from above, and then it will also influence the wall house. Huh? But it's better. The optimum is to put it really on the earth huh, in the first layer of the concrete. Huh? But mm -hmm. uh, if it's already done, you can put it here too. Yeah. Terrific. Okay. Uh, right. I know um, uh, uh, a, 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 winery, a winery where they have put the wires with the magnetic uh, antennas on top of their huge um, uh, 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 a huge of vessels of wine uh, that were, uh, were where the grape juice was turning into wine, and uh, and he saw really a very beneficial effect. It was a lot better wine than in the area without the the magnetic wires that were put on top of it. So it works too. It works too. Terrific. Okay. Yeah. So it sounds like this is a, a, a quite a simple um, thing. So you um, let's go back to the, the magnets again. So do you only put the magnets on the southern orientation of the rods or is it both sides? Yes, only on the south. Yes, it, it, it has no, um, it doesn't have any beneficial effect if you put it on the north side. Uh, north side it it has to be on the south side okay. so the south that you see on a compass huh? okay so i can show you a compass so moment take the compass up here for example uh, here mm -hmm. compass so normally So you see, you have uh, north south. Uh, it's uh, opposite way here, but it's because I hold it vertical, so you don't see it very good. But you always need to put the wire on the south, no, the the magnetic antenna on the south, and the wire to the north. Huh? Always. Got An it. An example. Okay. I will show you an example here. If we have, if we see it, yes. So the magnetic north of a, of a magnet is always indicated with red. It's also on a compass. The red needle the, is, is, the, is the, the, the red is what shows the, the, the north. Huh? Got it. Okay. So we, we have always to put it like this. You see that the compass yeah. is like this. So that the wire on the north side, side shows the compass like this. And on the south side, it shows it like this, you see? See, yes. uh, gotcha. I think we see it right. yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, if you, and, and, and not in the opposite, right? It has to be like this. If the compass works well, you will see it like this. Got it. And that's very important. The, the, the compass is really the reference with the Earth's magnetic field. The, so that that's what gives us the orientation and uh, and uh, yes and the white orientation huh? and and nothing okay. else and nothing else. Right. Only okay. A few more questions. First, on the on the steel wire themselves, do you need to treat those wires for any kind of anti ruster or any kind of protection for them before you install them? No, not really. If you put in the concrete. If you put uh, uh, the, the thicker the wire, the longer it will last. But in the concrete, it's already protected by the concrete. So it will rust a little bit, but not much. It's, it will not be really uh, a problem. So if you put like two, two to three square millimeter wire, um, it will hold maybe 1500 years in your concrete. Uh, where, where, Fifteen hundred years, one thousand five hundred. No, no. Years. <laughs> um, 
50 years to oh, 100 50. years, maybe. Okay, maybe that was exciting. More. <laughs> but uh, I don't think thousand years. Maybe it's uh, <laughs> too, it's a lot. It's, yeah, uh, I think I think we won't have the house then. Okay, that's great but, news. Okay, all right, that's a very important thing. And then number two. So we're you know, as you're saying, we're doing this throughout the house, and there are multiple rooms in the house. We're going to lay it out per room. Do you do anything to connect the rooms, or you just do it per um, room? The Yes, a good question. Um, when you put it on the floor, it will radiate all the um, all the floors above it. So even the rooms, everything. So you 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 don't have to put on each uh, floor yeah. the antennas. If it's already on the first floor, it's it's okay. Uh, you you don't need to put. Uh, you don't need to put uh, it up on the floor. But what about just, like a room adjacent to each other? I have the living room next to. Oh uh, yes, if there, is, if there is a room adjacent, then you need also to put the wires because it will only have effect above it. It will not right. have effect on the side of it. Do you need to do anything to connect those adjacent rooms, or you just lay it out per room, no yes. south to north? Yes, you just lay it out per room. Also, something you can do to improve the energy, it's when you make concrete, you need cement, you need sand, and you need a, a, a gravel. Well, you can use uh, sand and gravel from that is paramagnetic, from a mine, from basalt, or from a mine from a volcanic origin. Then the, the rock will be the sand and the and the gravel will probably uh, most cases will be paramagnetic and then it will also create an antenna effect that will be amplified by the the wires and the and the antenna. It will even increase the energy. It will be like your house is on a volcano. Uh, it's, it will increase. It will increase a lot the antenna effect, the, the resonance effect with the earth magnetic field. Okay. If, if you use sand or gravel that is not paramagnetic, um, there will be less energy. It's, it's also okay, huh? uh, uh, but um, you, you will have less of that antenna, antenna effect. Um, mm. If it's, uh, for example, a room, to uh, to preserve food, then it's very good also because it will preserve the food a long, long, uh, a longer time, uh, a really longer time, maybe mm. uh, two times. Uh, two times. Well, you can save maybe. a lot on your electrical bills <laughs> if you have a way to make your food last longer without electricity. I love it. Yes, okay. when when your food is in good shape, good energy it will not really decay. It will just dry out and dehydrate like in a pyramid. It yeah. will not decay. So it will still stay food. You just have to hydrate it if it's a fruit or something. But if it's not in good energy, then it will rot. Then it will decay. Then you will have harmful bacteria that will develop itself and it will rot. But uh, uh, cancer, a lot of cancers or a, a kind of sicknesses is like a decay of our bodies. But if we are in good energy, we don't decay. We, we just stay healthy until the end. At a certain moment, we will be old. And at a certain moment, it will be the end time for us. But we can also die in good shape. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Absolutely. We, we, yeah. we don't need to to die uh, because of cancer or a lot of sickness. No, we can also just go to sleep and one morning we don't wake up, we wake up in another dimension. <laughs> Got it. No, no, it may admit a lot of what you're doing. So one other question that I think the team has is um, if a house has its varying levels of amount of material that's been underneath the uh, for, for the flooring before they put concrete on. Does it matter how far of a distance it is from Earth itself, with all the original materials that were on the on the ground of the Earth, or does that not make a difference? 
may not be a clear um, question, sorry. I don't understand very well the, the question, but uh, it makes me think on, on a certain uh, point I want to, to say is okay. that what can be also very good to pay attention to, it's the materials you will use as a floor to use natural mm -hmm. materials. Uh, the, the more the house is built in natural materials, the better it will be too. Uh, don't use plastic floor or uh, like vinyl or, or things like that, or kind of carpets that are not in natural materials. It's not good because the magnetic field will go through the, the, the material and you will be influenced by like the, the magnetic fingerprint or frequencies of that material that will go through your energy. And mm -hmm. so um, it, it's important to live in, in, in um, most old houses or modern ecological houses or in okay. natural materials. Uh, it's, it can be very important. Um, Good because point, the, really good point. The artificial, like uh, all kinds of plastics or materials, you don't find in nature and then you will not find those frequencies in nature too. And this, and those frequencies will create a disruption. It's like electromagnetic pollution. It's, mm. it's quite the same uh, uh, effect. It, it will create uh, chaos in our energy fields. And mm. so, it's important the most we will use natural materials, the most it will be also amplified by the that antenna and uh, and it will be uh, also more healthy and will be for our well-being. Terrific. That makes a lot of sense. Well, Yannick, this is great. This is a really great uh, introduction to this, this concept of um, a energetic resonance with our Earth's natural fields. This is really good for wellness. Um, I think this is a very good start of an overview of how to implement it. So it's galvanized wire, galvanized steel wire, oriented from a south to north orientation by room as close as you can to either the, um, the initial pouring of concrete into the ground, only using natural flooring materials, the magnet goes on the southern orientation of the wire, and this effect is not only from the ground up, but it goes through all the different layers of the house. So this is uh, this is very exciting. So um, we'll prop, we'll put down here. We'll we'll stop here at this point. So um, because I think this is a, a great a great introduction. Thank you. Um, and um, so this is the, the tutorial, the theory behind it, the actual practical implementation of this process. And um, I think it's really exciting. I'm going to put it into the house. The team may have some questions for you. If there are other questions, we'll do a follow-up video so everybody else can see the questions that we've had as they go and consider implementing this into their homes. I think that it's a, a really important thing to do for increased energy and wellness, but also I love the idea of protection for electromagnetic pollution, which we're all subjected to. So Yannick, um, we will get links to your channel. Um, and then we'd also love to give a link to the book that you mentioned um, on from Flow. And um, so there's um, other background that people can do. But this is um, one video in a series of videos that we're going to continue to do with Yannick. And thank you for your expertise and your time and your patience for going through this. It's really an exciting time to start bringing these concepts, whether we call them new or going back to old back into our homes. Is there anything you'd like to say before we, we say goodnight to everybody, Yannick? But, uh, thank you to all for listening. And yes, like you say, if, if they have questions, we can uh, organize um, a live, for example, or something to ask, to, to, to answer the questions. Um, but uh, like UBC, it's quite easy to do. Uh, it's uh, it's just about knowledge and uh, and uh, and to make it uh, and to do it uh, correctly, and then uh, we will see results. And I, I would be very happy 
uh, when uh, that the people that will do it uh, share uh, pictures and testimonials how they do it and 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 uh, that's also what what I like very much it's to share on the groups on the on social media uh, what we do and so it helps uh, everybody uh, to to go further and to learn and and it's like this that. Uh, that uh, all those electroculture techniques develops itself it's like we are all part of the research <laughs> exactly and, uh, i love that and, exactly and the, the feedback is the research the application data. development yeah yeah terrific so thank you very much lisa <laughs> thank you fantastic we really we really uh appreciated that so have a good one and have a great evening and we'll continue to follow up with that thanks everybody <laughs>